Action Figure Review by me, Beheaded Productions. And today I'm going to be reviewing another of the Doctor Who Series 7 action figures. And uh, this time it is the Doctor. So, I got this for $6.99 off Forbidden Planet. And I did mention in my Dalek review that this was on its way. And uh, I've decided to review We'll it. start off this review by taking a look at the packaging, as that is something I didn't do with the Dalek figure. So if we go to the top here, we can see we've got the BBC logo, 5 Plus, Series 7 figure collection. And we've got a picture of the TARDIS here. Um, the original uh, image f images of the packaging had uh, the 11th Doctor on there instead, but... You know, they've changed it. Six figures to collect, and then we have the bubble um, for the figure, uh, which is in the style of circular Gallifreyan, which is very nice. Um, then we've got down here BBC Doctor Who, the Doctor character options logo. On the back, uh, we've got also available, and all the other figures in this wave, and two of the time zone play sets which are the Cold War playset and the Dalek Invasion uh, playset. There are also two more uh, time zone playsets which aren't on here, which are the Angels Take Manhattan playset and the Hyde playset. Six figures to collect, action figures sold separately, four playsets to collect. And they only show you two on there. We'll take a look at the detail first. Um, we'll start with the head sculpt because it isn't the best but I'm quite happy with mine um, I, I don't really have any complaints about it um, I think it's I think it's alright really I can live with it and um, I agree with uh, Blue Brick Tardis on this um I agree with uh, Blue Brick Tardis about this. You know, it's the first head sculpt. They can they can get better as they go along, uh, but I don't mind it. I think it's quite good, really. I don't think it's a bad head sculpt. The hair's done nicely. Um, it's the hair's done accurately. I do have the. Uh, I do have a few pink chips on the hair there, but it's nothing major. The hair's a dark brown with a nice light brown wash over the top of it. Overall, I think the head's alright. There was another version of this figure which had a far better head sculpt, but unfortunately they didn't go with that. They went with this one. Um, I don't know why. But still, it's it's all right. Um, the shirt, um, and we've got the purple bow tie, the waistcoat, which is kind of a grey purple, and then his purple jacket. As we go down, we have the legs. And we have the boots here, which are done nicely. Nice and accurate. There. So that's all very good. Uh, the hands are done quite nicely also. And I, I think it's quite a good figure. Um, now, we'll just go through the articulation. Uh, the head can do a 360 degree turn the arms are ball jointed so I can go outwards and they do 360 degree turn uh, no bicep articulation um, bend at the elbows it does a 360 degree turn at the wrist um, then we've got 360 
degree turn at the waist. Uh, the legs go forwards, but they can't really go backwards. Uh, they are hindered by the jacket. Uh, they don't go. Uh, they don't go outwards either. But bend at the knees, and uh, the boots. 360 degree turn, which is nice because we haven't had that on any other 11th Doctor figure. Uh, so it doesn't have as much articulation as previous 11th Doctor figures. But it's understandable as it's such a small scale. I mean, this is a really small figure. Um, so I will just go over the sonic screwdriver. Now, I'm better off keeping it in his hand. So it's so small, just to give you an idea of how small it is. Uh, that, that's it. Um, just put it back in his hand. There we are. So if I just show you that. So, if we take a look, you can see that it's painted rather badly, but it's a small scale. I think that's really the excuse for the, you know, the paint job on this. It's a small scale. Small scaled figure. Um, it's a shame that everything from the handle up is just silver. Which is a shame because, you know, we're missing the green emitter and the gold plates further up as well. But it's nice. It's We finally have a closed sonic screwdriver as well. This is the closed one. Which is nice. So that's it for the sonic really. Uh, these figures also, apart from the Dalek, include a display base, which is just basically a bigger version of the one which you got with character building figures. Um, I don't really think these are needed. I mean, he's standing up fine as he is. You know, hardly any of them need it. I got Clara to stand up fine. I, d I don't really see the point in these. And also, the massive. I mean, if I could just put him on. You can see that there is a peg there. And there's a hole in either one of the feet. So you can just plug it in here. And there you are, it stands up on the base. But also, it's massive. You don't need a stand this big. Just too big, taking up a lot of room. But um, when I display these figures, I don't really use these bases. They kind of go in my tat area. So I'll, that's where it's going, in the tat area. One thing that does happen with these 11th Doctor figures is the head can come off quite easily. You just give it a little tug and it does come off. And there's his head. Well, there's a blurry head. There we are. Um, it's basically just on a ball joint here. So it comes off easily, and it just goes back in easily. It doesn't come off so easily that it could just fall off anywhere. It is. It does have a nice snug fit. But um, it doesn't take much to pull it off. So, to conclude this review, do I recommend this figure? Well, yeah. I mean, if you're going to get the 3.75 inch figures, you, you can't really get them and go just not have a doctor. But also, I think it is a good figure. The head sculpt could be better. And in fact, it has been. But the rest of the figure is really rather good. 
if I just compare the sizes for you, is the Doctor against the Series 5 11th Doctor. There is quite a big difference there, as you can see. Um, which is expected. So, that's really it for the review. Uh, for 6 dollars it's a great little figure. I would recommend you go and buy them. Uh, it's quite cool. So, thanks for watching this review, and I shall see you in my next uh, video, whatever that is. I don't know what it is, probably. It probably will be another review. Maybe Clara, maybe the TARDIS. I'm not sure. But thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.